Okay, so we are doing um, electric circuits in this first lesson, okay? Generally, this topic is a difficult one conceptually for any person, okay? And a lot of students struggle with this because basically we cannot visualize what is happening inside circuits, okay? But this first lesson is basically going to be circuit, circuit symbols, okay? And the first one we're going to learn is this one. This is a cell, okay? The way I, I tell students to, rem to remember this is think of prison cells, okay? They're just like single rooms in a prison um, and basically when we translate this to electricity or electric circuits, they're basically the singular units of a battery because the next symbol we're going to learn, okay, is this one, okay? So a battery has two or more cells, okay? And what are cells or batteries? Well, basically, they store chemical energy and they provide the energy uh, that gets transferred to the electrons and pushes the electrons around the circuit. Um, and then the, the energy in those electrons get transferred into the lamps or resistors or other devices that the circuit is um, powering. Okay, so we've got a cell, a battery. Next one is a lamp, a lamp or bulb. Now, depending on your textbooks or um, exam boards, you might see this symbol. Okay, this is the old symbol for a lamp. Um, so just don't get confused. Either do mean a lamp, but this is the newer symbol. Right. What about this one? This is a resistor. Okay. So this is what. Um, blocks current or resists current and current is the flow of charged particles or electrons which travel around the circuit. Okay, what about this one? This is a variable resistor. So basically this is used in like dimmer lights in rooms um, and basically generally in the form of a dial knob you can alter the resistance um, that you want in the circuit and basically if it's connected to a lamp you can change the dimness of a lamp okay what about this one okay this is a thermistor okay so thermistors are unlike traditional metals where when the temperature gets higher okay the resistance actually increases due to the vibrations of the particles Okay, but in the thermistor, the opposite happens. When you get a high temperature, basically the resistance decreases. Okay, so you have to remember it that way. So in cold temperatures, it's got a high resistance, and in hot temperatures, it's got a low resistance. Okay, which brings me to the next similar one. Okay, this is an LDR, okay, or light dependent resistor. Okay. Now, depending on your exam board, again, you might have a circle around uh, the, this rectangle. Okay, but for the IGCSE um, Cambridge board, which I'm teaching, um, this is the symbol you have to use. Okay, so what does a light dependent resistor do? Well, it says, um, well, it has a high resistance in the dark, but a low resistance in the light. Okay, so you just have to, to remember it that way. Okay, and where is it used? Well, it's used for like automatic lighting. Um, let's say you, you want your light to turn on at a specific time or specific light level. These can be used in as detectors and then be used to turn on a, a lamp in the circuit. Okay. Um, what about this one? Okay, this is a diode. Okay, from the um, symbol, you can see that this is like an arrow, okay, pointing one direction, like a next button um, on your, or fast forward button on your remote. Um, and basically, what does it mean? It means current flows in one direction, or is only allowed in one direction. And electronically, um, actually, it's got a huge amount of resistance in one um, part of it, so that current can't go that got go that direction, it can only go uh, the direction it, it, with, with uh, less resistance, okay? So that's how it works, and that's a diode. And again, sometimes it's got a circle on it, but the, the example that I'm teaching doesn't have um, a circle on it, okay? So, just to show you um, these things in real life, or what they look like in real life, so a resistor looks like this, okay? 
and generally um, depending on the colors uh, or the patterns um, electricians can can tell how much resistance each resistor has okay this is what a variable resistor looks like in real life okay obviously there's um, different variations of variable resistors um, but you can see the symbol there and that's what it looks like okay this is what a thermistor looks like in real life um, a light dependent resistor okay and then a diode okay so let me just double check um, some other symbols you need to know this is a switch okay At the moment it's open so no current is flowing through it and just air is is present and air is a bad um, conductor of electricity so yeah so we have a switch um, what else do we have um, I can think of um, these two symbols here. So this is an ammeter and this is a voltmeter. So what does an ammeter do? An ammeter basically measures the amount of current flowing through a circuit. Okay, So it measures how many electrons pass a point at a certain time and how quickly those electrons pass through that point. What does a voltmeter do? Well a voltmeter measures how much energy um, or volts um, each electron has as they pass through a particular point in a circuit or between a specific device and sometimes voltage is called potential difference and in a later video I will be talking about what potential difference is but just to be aware of a voltmeter is generally connected at two points in a circuit <clears throat> and is checking the difference in the voltage between those two points. Okay, and that's the end of this lesson.